What is up guys, Jeremy here and welcome back to another video. So we're on the 10s Max with the Uncovered Jailbreak on 14.3. Now I wanted to make a video for those of you that have problems with your jailbreak. Um, meaning maybe every time you try to go into um, jailbreak mode, it just crashes and you can't, or your springboard is constantly crashing and you can't figure out why. Um, so if your springboard is crashing, we'll start with this. If your springboard keeps crashing and um, you can't basically use any of your tweaks or anything, uh, what you can do is stay in safe mode. You can go into Cydia or Zebra, whatever you're using as a package manager. And you can go to your installed packages and go to recent. And I would start by deleting the most recent tweaks. Now, this usually happens to people that um, maybe look up a YouTube video and they go and they write down all these tweaks they want. And then they go into Cydia and, and install like 10 to 15 tweaks at a time. So basically what you're doing is you're just gambling at that point with compatibilities and stuff like that. The biggest rule of thumb when you are installing tweaks, and I think that this is the smartest, smartest way to do it, is to install one tweak at a time. Install the tweak and then respring, make sure the tweak is functioning properly with the tweaks you might already have, and then move on to the next tweak. Um, there's a huge gamble when you install a bunch at a time because there might be a conflict with one of those and then you pretty much have to um, delete one by one until it goes away or delete all the recents that you did. So I highly recommend to always just do one tweak at a time, take your time with it, don't you know write down a huge list and install 30 tweaks at once. It's just, uh, it's just a big gamble and it can lead to a lot of headaches. But what you can do is you can go into installed and see your recent and what I would do is go through your recents and just get rid of you know tweaks that you have installed. Don't get rid of any of this is all showing like core functionality, jailbreak stuff like shell commands and substrate for safe mode just because I don't have any tweaks on this device yet. I just have alt daemon. Um, but go through and just delete your recent installed tweaks, ones that you installed before the crash happened. And then you will get to the point where you finally have deleted the one or the pair or the three or whatever's con conflicting. And then you can kind of figure out uh, what works with what because not all tweaks are compatible with all other tweaks. Sometimes they, they do have a conflict with one another and that results in your springboard crashing. Okay, so moving along from there, the next criteria I wanna cover is for those of you that have really messed up your device and when you go to go into the jailbroken state, nothing's working or you just, you, there's no, you know, there's no crashing of any kind. You basically just can't use the jailbreak. It just crashes and uh, it just doesn't work. Um, now, the best way around that is to um, come out of the jailbroken state and then I'll do that now. So I'm just going to do a hard reboot to simulate my jailbreak crashing. Now, this is probably going to be aimed towards people that have installed a lot of tweaks and there's a major conflict where you can't even run the jailbreak because of these. So we'll just do a hard reboot here and we'll let my device boot back up. So I'm booting out of the jailbroken mode and this is kind of a last resort to save your jailbreak. Um, pretty much we're gonna restore the jailbreak. We're gonna restore the entire file system on our device and it's gonna be like a freshly jailbroken iPhone. Now, this is a much better reason you know, resort to do than to do a, you know, a restore on the computer and lose your jailbreak altogether because you have to upgrade iOS firmwares. Um, but it is sucky because you're going to lose all your tweaks and themes and all that stuff. So what you do is you go into uncover here, you go to the little gear, and then you want to restore the root file system. So go ahead and click on that. And then it, it is asking you here, you have enabled restore root file system uh, while automatic uh, updates are blocked. Would you like to re-enable the updates? So this is if you wanted to to unjailbreak your iPhone. I'm gonna say no because I don't want to unjailbreak my iPhone. I don't want the updates to be available to me. So I'll just check that. And now what you can do is you can click done and you can restore your root file system. And this is gonna it's gonna erase all jailbreak content, all your tweaks, all your themes, basically everything. It'll clean everything up. And when you do this, you should not have any issues with the jailbreak running. 
Now we'll let it go through its process here. Uh, it'll take a little time, so I'll be back once it's done. Okay, while it's actually still doing this this process, a thought just popped in my head. Um, just for those of you that tend to comment that you say, hey, my springboard keeps crashing, do you know why? That is the most vague question there is. Um, the, the only answer that I can reply to that is, yes, I know why, you installed a bad tweak, or you installed a tweak that's conflicting with another. That's the only kind of information I can give you. Um, unfortunately, you know, you can't say, hey, when I when I do this certain thing, it crashes, that that doesn't help either. Uh, it, it's like it's like going to a, a mechanic and being like, my engine is broken down. What should I do? If that makes sense. So it's, it's such a vague question. Um, and I find it to be, it looks like the jailbreak isn't doing anything. Let's kill it and try that again. Um, but it's just such a vague question. It make, it's very hard to to even begin where to try to help you it, it's it's either a bad tweak or a conflict between tweaks that's usually what i tell everybody um and then it's up to you to really kind of figure out which tweak or which tweaks it is that's doing that let's go ahead and let's try and restore this root file system one more time so we'll check that back on we'll try it again hopefully it uh works this time and um goes through the exploit process um but like i said if you if you continue to keep having crashes and you, and you keep having problems, just restore your root file system and just start over. It's usually the best thing you can do. It sucks, yes, because you have to reinstall themes and tweaks, but like I said, do it one at a time. Be slow with it. Don't install 30 tweaks. Just do one at a time. Make sure it works. Check out the settings for it. Make some adjustments to its settings and then move on to the next tweak. That is really the best way you can do it. Okay, it's finally, we finally got some progress. So just be patient at that point. It took it like two minutes to finally start doing stuff. So just be patient. And now it is restoring the file system. It's, it's basically just deleting everything jailbreak related out of my iPhone right now. And uh, I don't really have anything installed because I did do a fresh jailbreak on this 10s Max because I've been trying uh, some things out. So there isn't much to delete, but just be patient here. It is doing stuff. I guess I wasn't patient enough the first go. So just uh, let it let it do its thing here and it takes a couple of minutes. All right, we got that. Jailbreak complete. The system needs to reboot. So let's go ahead and reboot. And uh, this process isn't done yet, guys. So don't, don't leave yet. There's a little bit more we gotta do. And like I said, I'm doing this video to hopefully help you guys understand jailbreaking and you know, what happens when crashes and to be more cautious to take your time i think that was a huge problem that's always a big problem right when a new jailbreak for a new ios version comes out is uh everybody just jumps on and they look up tweak videos on youtube and they might be outdated videos outdated tweaks tweaks that don't support the current version and it causes a lot of problems it makes me wonder how many people have lost their jailbreak just from going too crazy with the tweaks. It's kind of sad, really. But this reboot does go slow. Um, I did restore it yesterday, and I know the rebooting does take a minute. So again, just be very patient. It is just a black screen. There we go. There's finally the Apple logo. So it is going to boot up. And now with a fresh file system, um, we will more than likely have to reinstall Cydia. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that when you go to jailbreak again. Okay, we're booted back up. Let's go ahead and jump into our iPhone. And as you can see, we have Uncover. We have no, no Cydia though. So we're gonna go ahead and go back into Uncover. We're gonna go to the little gear. And root file system is disabled, but we also want to reinstall Cydia because we no longer have that now that we have restored the file system. Um, so we'll click on done and now we'll do the jailbreak process again. Hopefully step two doesn't take too long. So now we're going to re jailbreak, recreate the jailbreak files, reinstall Cydia. And it's going to be like, we just jailbroke our iPhone for the very first time. So, uh, this is definitely the best way for those of you that are having tons of crashing problems, tons of 
springboard issues or if the jailbreak doesn't even run anymore, this is how you're going to fix it. Even uh, for those of you that are getting errors in the jailbreak process itself, like if you're getting stuck at step 26 and it still doesn't work, you still want to do a restore file system. Like I said, yes, you're going to lose everything, but it will work. Restoring the file system is, is what you got to do. Because I've seen a lot of people talking about how they get stuck at step 26 or whatever step it might be in the process. It could be because of old tweaks or old jailbreak files. Just restore that file system and it, it should work fine. So now we're doing the final reboot. Just give it a minute to boot back up here. This might be an exceptionally long video, but hopefully I answered a lot of questions and hopefully you guys know what to do now if you if your iPhone keeps crashing over and over. I have shown the method of getting the crashed application in a previous video that can help you as well. Now you can see Cydia and Substrate are not here yet. Just give it a minute. It does take them a second to load in with Uncover. So we'll just hang out on the home screen here until we see those pop up on screen. Sometimes I feel like moving the screen back and forth. Speeds it up sometimes, I don't know. Okay, well it's been a couple of minutes and it looks like Cydia and Substrate still hasn't shown up. So again, I'm going to go back into Uncover and we're going to attempt this again. So I'm going to recheck on uh, Reinstall Cydia. I'll click Done. I'm just going to verify it's not there one more time. So yeah, for some reason it's not showing up. We're just going to try and re-jailbreak it again. And hopefully it will show up this time. Okay, so it did work the second time. There we have uh, Substitute and Cydia. One thing I like to make sure is with uh, Substitute that Enable Tweak Injection is turned on before we go into Cydia. So make sure that toggle is on. And then we can go into Cydia, relaunch it. And uh, we are on a fresh jailbreak on 14.3. Go to Changes here. And uh, everything looks good. So that's how you're going to basically fix your device if you've installed so many tweaks that it's pretty much messed up. Uh, again, just restore the root file system, reinstall Cydia, go through the jailbreak process again, and then start over. That's pretty much your best alternative. Um, and like I said a bunch of times, be patient, one tweak at a time. The only thing that I batch install are themes. Themes for snowboard, I will install like 10 to 15 at a time. I feel confident with themes. Uh, but when it comes to tweaks, take it slow. Hopefully you guys found this video useful. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.